What's that? The lip balm? It, yes, it smells good. Is that, is that appropriate for her age? I don't want my daughters to have too much contact to humans of the male variety before the age of 35. Teddy? Yeah. You are too nice to Lily. Why are you in your cycling outfit? You see, it's so difficult to be a good father. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville saint fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. I just had my morning coffee when I had a look outside and I saw this. Can you see this? A major tree branch disaster overnight. Half of this beautiful chestnut tree came down. Now I have to sort it out before the guests come. And it's also a reminder that chateau life is not always glamorous parties, sports cars and top models. Actually, it's never that I just made it up. Oh my goodness, this is always scary because these are big enough to kill a man or a woman. How did that happen? Oh, you can see the branch, it's up there. These are old trees and I think this winter we need to have a tree surgeon coming in. You see where it came? Yes, up there. And it's a healthy oh, yeah. branch, it doesn't, doesn't look yeah. ill or anything, so I don't understand why it came down. I know with oak trees, yeah. they, they naturally lose their branches. Yeah. I didn't know that happened with sweet chestnuts, but maybe, uh, or with horse chestnuts, yeah. but maybe it's the same issue. Ideally, we would cut the remaining yeah. branch. Yeah. But I promised Anna not to do anything up there with a the chainsaw. <laughs> she's, she's worried. She said it's for insurance reasons. You can see I've changed from my young fatherish tights and somehow sexy jeans into these. Probably not less sexy chainsaw protection trousers. They are quite efficient against cutting your legs and extremely efficient against hateful safety comments underneath the video. And now it's time for yet another chainsaw time lapse. Done. Now, until a couple of months ago, it would have been a major issue to get rid of these branches and these leaves, carrying them through the property, making a fire. But now we got a new machine, one of my favorite garden machines. And this is thanks to our patrons, and in particular, thanks to Inge, who specifically and very generously donated towards our shredder. Can you hear that? That means it's 12 o'clock, so no shredding. Because we have a rule in this village. No 
noise from 12 o'clock to 2.30. It's France. There's a rule for everything. I love that sound. I really love it. I need to show you the church one day. Hi guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you don't miss out on any new episodes. It's also a great way to support our channel. The guest house is full at the moment. We are getting through a lot of our breakfast foods and I have to make some apricot jam because we have run out. All I need, it's really simple, are apricots. I'm going to use about six kilos, 1.6 kilos of jam sugar. So I'm sure some of you guys out there are expert jam makers and will have some good tips for me once you've seen this video. I'm hoping that this is not going to overflow because <laughs> I'm literally at maximum capacity and I need to just leave the sugar and fruit and then I'm gonna add a couple of lemons and they just need to kind of sit for a little bit. And the lemon is apparently very good for preserving the jam. And so I'm going to add the two lemons that I have and I'm just going to leave it because apparently you can leave it for several hours or even overnight just soaking it in the sugar and that is really helping it to sort of break down. And then tomorrow I can cook it up a little bit and finish it and jar it. Cheeky one, not stable at all. It's actually physically impossible to work, but it did. I was so fast that I outsmarted the laws of physics. I'm only gonna edit the successful ones <laughs> to impress you. I'm horribly efficient. I'm running out of flocks to split. I should do this for a living. Well, Part time. Look, look what I'm doing. Look at this. Look at this. No, just <coughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No, look at this. Look at this. No, look at this. I told you. One, one hit. One hit wonder. Another smash hit. One success after the other. Unbelievable. I think that's the last one. Let's make this a success. And the success it was. Oh, I really got scared. It was just a chestnut. That's it. I'm done. A man, an axe, and a fluffy microphone. What is it, Ella? Thank you! Oh, sugar. Oh, no. Ah. Is this the starter cable? This is the starter cable. And it... Why does it go back inside? Because it came off from the handle, and it's the handle that... The rubber handle, is it? The rubber handle that keeps it up from... Uh, uh, could you replace the handle? Well, I could. I, I don't even know if it's necessary. I just need to make a... Bigger knot? Bigger knot. <laughs> Thank you.
Whoa. Oh. I am extremely delighted to have Nathan here with me. After three weeks without him, I felt a bit lonely at the Chateau, but he's back and he cut the grass and he did an amazing job, like always. But exciting news, for the first time in his life, he will attend school. Well, it's not the first time him attending school, but for the first time, not as a young naughty boy anymore, but as an adult, mature young man. Quelles sont tes priorités à l'école pour cette année scolaire? Alors, pour cette année, Il va falloir que j'aille plus de 50 heures d'école. Plus de 50 heures d'école. Une autre priorité euh, Oui, j'étais plus de 50 boulettes de papier sans me faire griller. J'étais 50 boulettes de papier sans se faire griller. Et quoi d'autre Alors mon objectif, c'est d'avoir plus de 15 de moyenne dans chaque matière. Avoir plus de 15 de moyenne dans chaque matière. Mais comment vas-tu faire avec tout ce que tu as annoncé de faire Ah bah si simple, je vais pécho la prof. Il va pécho la prof. Bien, j'ai confiance en toi. Merci. This is the reality of running a guest house. <laughs> I didn't time it very well and I have been leaving my apricots to soften in the sugar for about four hours and it's now 9.30 at night and they're almost soft but not quite but I haven't really got time to wait any longer so I'm starting to just heat it until all the sugar has dissolved. You can see that it's already getting kind of nice and liquidy. I've got my glass of wine and I'm heating it now and I'm hoping that it will start to soften because I have to have jam ready tomorrow for the guest breakfast. And this is obviously an essential ingredient. I'm still here. I think it is now 10.30. But my, my jam is finally boiling and thickening and the apricots are softening. It smells really good. <laughs> it's now 10.30. <laughs> no, 11.30, sorry. And yes, I think it is finally finished. Mum came down to give me a hand because she was wondering where I was. In the meantime, I've put the jam jars into the oven at maximum temperature. So they're gonna sterilize, but also so that they're hot for when we put the hot jam into them and they don't crack. I probably haven't got enough jam jars. <laughs> I think I'll be going to the supermarket tomorrow to go and get some. But at least I've got lots of jam. <laughs> gonna run out soon. It's the next day and as nobody's watching I decided to try Anna's jam. So here it is. Piece of fresh baguette. Oh, it smells delicious. Mm. Not so good. I think it was Totally worth it for Anna to stay up so late, even though she woke me up when she eventually came to bed. But hey, what wouldn't I do for such a good jam?
my brother and sister-in-law and my nephews are on their way. How long haven't you seen them? I think about 18 months. Or maybe even longer, 20 months? 20 months? Yeah. Aww. So the kids are very excited to see their cousins. And it's 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Because they've just come over on the night ferry, so we're making a nice breakfast for them. Can Look how nicely the breakfast table's laid. Yeah, and can I just say that Dad has ah. also prepared porridge, because also, of course... A <laughs> breakfast I'm sure they really want to eat porridge when they arrive. Do you have lipstick on? For Teddy and Archie? No! I cousins. got some... Lip balm. Lip balm. What's that? The lip it, balm? Yes, it smells good. Is that, is that appropriate for her age? Yeah, it's just lip balm. Look at, look at me, Lily. I'm not look, sure. It's a cup. Not, not when the young boys are coming. <laughs> so you're freshly shaved, John. Yeah, so I shaved this morning. Ready for the guests. Especially for our new visitors. How did you prepare? How did I prepare? A uh, good night's sleep. <laughs> She's ready for the invasion I'm of ready Brandon. now. I'm ready now. <laughs> Actually, it's the first time we've all been together, yeah, since two, two Christmases ago, so yeah. it feels Very like Christmas, isn't it? Hello, who's coming? Teddy and Nazi! Are you happy? Yes! Are they going to play with your dolls? Yes. Do you think so, but they're boys? <laughs> yes. They might be not interested in your dolls. Do you have dinosaurs? No. Do you have motorbikes? No. Do you have knights with swords? No. Do you have Barbies? Yes. Do you think they like Barbies? <laughs> yeah. That's good. Papa's old fashioned. We live in modern times, you're right. Then when I brushed my teeth, I, I had a tooth for you. Two. And the second one, what wow. happened with the second one? Well, I lost it at the beach. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know where it is, somewhere in the sand. Oh my god. <laughs> Look what they've come gifted with. This is like gold here. This is real cheese, not this French. Mature cheddar. Stuff. I don't know if we're allowed to bring dairy products into France. We might want to edit this bit out. <laughs> Maybe that was illegal what you just did. <laughs> some cheddar yeah, well, I, I didn't know. Lily will be very happy because yeah. she only eats parmesan and cheddar. Yeah. Even though we live yeah. in the country of cheese. She doesn't like the smelly stuff. I don't know. She's going to be very excited. British extra mature <laughs> cheddar. As an open-minded yet caring father, I don't want my daughters to have too much contact to humans of the male variety before the age of 35, which by the way is also the age when they will be allowed to leave the chateau without my supervision. Now you can imagine that having these cheeky little nephews of mine in the house makes me a little bit nervous, but I wouldn't be called a modern father if I didn't have some gear to make sure that everything is as it should be. Teddy? Yeah? You are too nice to Lily. Um, because Lily has to learn that boys are naughty and dangerous. And it's they are not. That is a very false thing. Oh! Okay. Very false! Okay, that's very, true. very false! 
You see, it's so difficult to be a good father. Here comes Philip with the Côte de Boeuf. Why are you in your cycling outfit? Because I was cycling. But the important thing is this. Can you see it? Some Côte de Boeuf. Côte de Boeuf. This is what I could eat day and night. I could live on this meat. It's the best meat you can get. And I just love it. It makes me happy. Expertly barbecued by Dad. Perfectly barbecued because we have a more cooked part, which is more for the English taste and then the almost raw part that caters to my taste and to the French taste. <laughs> and half of it is my taste, half of it for you guys, so that's perfectly fair share. And Philip, why are you in your cycling gear? I was editing the whole day, so I needed to go urgently outside to do a bit of sport, and I didn't have time to get dressed for this evening. For dinner, yeah. so, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> we got very kindly sent some bottles of this South African wine by one of our very generous patrons, Miles. So thank you very, very much. We're going to enjoy this with our barbecue this evening. Amazing. The kids have finished and they're already on the trampoline. Cheers. <laughs> this wine. This is very good, this wine. Mm. this episode don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates have a look at our patreon page thank you so much for watching